yeah. Some things from the 60s, like the Beatles, Johnny Cash, and my cool old view never lose their appeal. A house, on the other hand, can date. That mission brown or orange glass look was hot back then, but it's pretty daggy now. But the good news is you can transform it dead easy and it's not as expensive as you think. Hey, guys. <laughs> Luke and Fiona have been in the house for a couple of years, but they would love our help to give the tired old front a facelift. At the moment, the garage door is basically your entrance. It's the first thing you see. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Don't you, don't you like the green? Yeah, well, I was, thinking, <laughs> I was thinking of keeping the bottle cap glass, actually. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Fiona doesn't like those thorny bougainvilliers either. They've got massive spikes on. We've got two little kids. I think we might lose a couple of them at least. It might leave one, and I'll call it a nursery plant. So until the rest of the garden grows up, and then you might take that out in a year's time. OK, sounds Excellent. good. What's inside the garage? Can we have a Captain Cook? Sure. Yep. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. It's good space. I was expecting it to be all cluttered. The best thing about it is it's indoors, so it's your department, not mine. <laughs> that means will you guys help me clear out? Sure. sure. Absolutely. Oh. Fantastic. Oh. Now I just feel lonely. Come on, get involved, Jace. <laughs> okay, so the plan here is to replace the garage door. The bottle top glass will go, and the garage interior will get some TLC and much more storage too. Two out of the three of the Bougainville is going to come out and we're going to plant them with something more appropriate. But before we get started, we've called in Dion Versaletti from Ray White Real Estate to do a pre-market inspection. He's going to come back after we're done to see if our extra street appeal has added any value. My initial impressions of this house was a little bit dated and a little bit drab. Street appeal is really important for a house. You only get one chance to make a good first impression. Doing a garage door makeover is a great option. You know, you tie that in with the gardens and a little bit of painting, and it just really lifts the frontage of the house. OK, so we're going to replace the roller door with something a little more contemporary. Luke and Fiona have a big range to choose from, and it's not really a DIY job, so we're going to call in the experts to swap it over. So this is the main entranceway to the front door, which is over there, but because of these Bougainvilliers, you can't see it. Now, as far as the Bougainvilliers go, well, when you step away from the roller door, this is pretty much all you can see. So I'm going to delete these two and leave this variegated one, which is the most manageable. When it comes to chopping out or pruning a Bougainvillier, it's about the only time I'm a fan of wearing gloves. I've had plenty of wrestles with these over the years, and I've never won one battle. All right, the plan with this garage is to give it a freshen up, and I'm starting on the floors. I'm using an active clean, and that's going to get rid of any grease and dirt that's built up over the years. Once it's on, I'll leave it for about 10 minutes and then use a high-pressure hose to wash it off. Ads is just finishing up cleaning the garage floor, and you can see the necessity of this plumbing. Even though it's a DIY job and it's ugly, it works. So what I'm going to do is replace all of that with a pit. Now, all the water will flow into the pit and then get away through a new pipe, which will be hidden under the garden bed. It'll work better and look a lot better. Well, I keep cleaning this floor. I thought I'd get the guys in from B&D so they can start measuring up for the new one, because obviously, this green roller door, well, it served its purpose. I want to paint this concrete, but you can see they've got a trowel finish. It's nice and smooth, which means the paint has nothing to bond to. So I'm going to etch the concrete, or we'll roughen the surface, and problem solved. This old bottle cap glass has definitely served its purpose, and it's time to go. I'm going to be replacing it with some frosted glass. There's a few things you need to remember when you're working with this old glass. It isn't safety glass, so definitely tape it up. That way, if it cracks, hopefully it holds those big, large sections together and also wear your PPE. So I've got my gloves and my glasses. And to give this garage a fresh new look, I'm painting the walls as well. But first, I'm just putting on this undercoat to make sure that all the bricks are sealed. The good thing about this one-step prep is you can use it on everything, from masonry to plasterboard, timber. Too easy. For the garage floor, I'm using a high-gloss, heavy-duty, hard-wearing paint. It's ideal for garages and driveways. You can park your car on it, but it won't wear out. How good's this garage looking, mate? That looks amazing. You know how I'm a good bloke, Chase? Yeah, no. <laughs> well, you're going to think I'm a good bloke when I tell you this. See this heavy door? Yeah. The guys from B&D here, they're going to be taking it down. We just have to make sure that they do it right. 
So while the guys from B&D remove the old door, I'm going to take care of some new storage for inside the garage. So these flat pack shelves are going to work an absolute treat. The best part is there's no screws involved. Just a bit of a rubber mallet, whack it into place. The old drainage worked, but it was an eyesore. So I'm going to replace it and make it look like a professional job. Now, this is just picking up water and throwing it to the other end of the garden. If I was connecting it to the storm water, I'd have to get a licensed plumber to do this. Now, I'm just having a dry run here. Everything fits. Now what I need to do is, with the acetone, clean down all the PVC so the PVC glue can get a good bond between the two. Installing a new garage door is not a DIY job. It's actually pretty technical, but you'd be amazed at how inexpensive it is for such a major change. The average cost is between three to $5,000, and that includes installation, so I reckon that's pretty good value. Finished already? Yeah, finished already. Hey, well, you didn't waste any time. That's fantastic. It's a little bit different to the uh, old roller door that was here. Obviously, that served its purpose. Yeah, the new facade and the look from the outside. It's insulated too to keep it nice and cool. Well, the insulation, I mean, that's a great idea because realistically, this is the biggest door to your house, isn't it? Yeah. So sure. a lot of heat would have been coming through and it's on a hot summer's day, it's like a sweat box. It definitely is, yeah. But I was say, when I was walking in, I didn't hear much noise. Oh, no. It's so quiet. The new insulated doors and the, the belt motor. Yeah. Mate, Press that they button are for me, so mate. Quiet. That's amazing. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, Rob, you always impressed me, mate. Mate, it's always a pleasure. I put these abelias in about a dog apart. Now, it'll depend on the size of your dog and whether its tail's wagging or not. <laughs> now, I've only put a couple of plants in, but I want to explain it first. I've got the Guy Mia Lily. That's where I've spent a lot of my money. It's about $250 for this bad boy. And these ones here, well, they're abelia cross grandiflora Francis Mason. Why did I say the botanical name? Because it was the first plant I ever learned at TAFE, and it's the last one I've remembered. What they'll do is either get up to the height of the existing bougainvilleas that were here, giving the front door and the house a bit of privacy. But if they like the idea of a low set garden, they can cut them back once a year, keep them low and compact, and you have a beautiful flush of lime green growth. Now, there's definitely not a shortage of storage in this garage, but a good little tip, if you do have shelving like this set up, just pin it back to the wall. That way, if you've got young kids and they try and climb up, it won't come tumbling down on top of them. Such walls, mate. And a garage isn't complete without a workbench. Now, when it comes to garden design, it's important that you take into account your lifestyle. Now, if you think about these guys, they've got a couple of toddlers, so a low-maintenance, easy-care garden is high on the priority list for busy young couples, and that's exactly what we've got here. There's a couple of native grasses. The first one's little con, it's this lime through here. They'll all clump up, mass out, you'll get no weeds, and then a dianella, which is variegated. Most things here don't even need pruning. The gardenias are radicans, so they're small and hug the ground. Good-looking garden that's easy to care for, I reckon it's a winner. OK, so we're all done. A new garage door and a much more welcoming garden being the first things you notice. But is that enough to add value to a home? Now I've come back to seeing the house and the makeover that you've done with not only the, the bit, a little bit of painting and gardens, that incredible garage door, it has to have added at least thirty dollars to $40,000. Well, that's good news. Let's see if Luke and Fiona like what we've done. Just the finishing touches there, Jase. Yeah, well, I ordered a pizza and he's got nowhere to come. <laughs> Righto, guys, we're ready to show you. <laughs> Are they coming? We got the three large hand pineapples. Hey! Wow! That's amazing. Fantastic. It's a new That's dog. Awesome. <laughs> That's, That's fantastic. Great, Doesn't it make a difference? Thank you. Wow. Yes. Colour's great. Yeah. The good news is it's not only the garage door, it's what's behind the door, too. So do you want to have a look? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Wow. Bit of a that pressure, awesome. Fantastic. Look at all yeah, that storage. We've got storage. some serious storage, yeah, absolutely. We really need that, with, especially with all the extra kid stuff, you know? Yes, absolutely. Do you really, really like it? Really, really. Absolutely. Yeah, I did all of that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not all. You've also got this fantastic new garden, which doesn't have the hooks of the bougainvilleas, just so the whole place wasn't exposed. I've yep. left that. But everything oh. else here is taken into account that you've got two little kids, you're only going to get busy. Water it for the next month, yep. and then pretty much it should look after itself. 
It awesome. looks fantastic. It looks brilliant. So your drainage is sorted. You don't have to worry about ugly pipes there anymore. So which do you prefer, the garage or the garden? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice competition with this bloke. No, <laughs> no, I just want to win. They complement each other. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks very much. much. No, Thank you. High five! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. Yeah. No, We're getting better. We'll get, yeah, we are getting more better. <laughs>